so guys in this video i'm going to do a creditors reconciliation statement okay so for today's lesson i choose that we must use this format remember uh, beside this format there is also another format uh, which you have to know whether under a creditors ledger when we debit it's an increase when we credit it's a decrease okay you must go and check the other videos uh, so that you will be able to know the both format okay after all um this is going to also teach you uh, something uh, that you didn't know if you know the other format okay guys remember when we talk about creditors reconciliation statement we are correcting mistake that are done by either us as a business which we call it a creditors ledger is our books or it was done by our supplier okay remember when we purchased to our supplier there is a lot of things that happen for example we can buy something on credit they have to record and we also have to record so anything can happen mistake can happen that can make what a different but after all the balances must be the same it must balance okay creditors reconciliation 1.2 simple store buy goods on credit from nadu supplier a statement account was received on 28 august 23 and the balance did not correspond with the balance of the creditors ledger account of no nadu supplier in other words our business is simple store our supplier that we are dealing with for today is nadu if we find any other supplier included we must cancel okay we must do it separate note on this one here is nadu and the simple supplier only okay let's check uh, required complete the table provided in the answer book this is the answer book okay information they have to they say that indicate whether it's an increase or decrease you must show plus or minus okay information the balance on the creditors ledger account of nadu supplier in the books of simple store in our books of simple store guys uh, the balance was 40000 okay number a i'm going to write it down below okay we're going to have a column here of a balance okay it was 40100 and on the other side of our supplier is 21000 and 20 okay now number a let's go to number a this opening balance guys they didn't even have a max for this uh, activity okay it was just copy and paste a number a errors and omission simple store reflected a credit invoice of 8800 in the creditors ledger account of nado supplier this was goods purchased from nando sile dealers Nando Seller Dealers is a third part. Remember here I said that we are dealing with Simple Store and Nadu. Then us, we did mistake. Our business, our books did mistake and record what? An invoice. When we record invoice, liability increase. It was not supposed to increase between these two reconciliation. We have to record for Nando Seller separately, which means that this must be subtracted. We have to minus uh let's show by a bracket or we can even show by minus minus 8800 very simple okay we are the one who did mistake we must record in our books number b an allowance of 1740 for damaged goods return was recorded as invoice in the creditors ledger account of nadu supply guys here we return the goods okay but this was recorded as we purchase remember when we return liability decrease but when we purchase liability increase okay so instead um, of recording a return we added which means that now we have to go and rectify that mistake because we previously added when we rectify now what do we do we subtract we're gonna subtract the first one 1740 
we are the first one is to cancel and the second one is to record what the return 1740 guys instead of showing this you can say total between these two is gonna give you three thousand four eight they're gonna give you two marks here or they give you one one here okay that's how you do it the first one is to cancel the second one is to record the written okay it was supposed to be recorded as written but they recorded as invoice invoice increase liability okay we can pay for something that we return number c an invoice for 15,200 was incorrectly reflected as 12,000 uh, on the statement statement they're the one who did mistake our supplier they say that invoice of 15,000 they show it as 12 instead of recording more they recorded less of 12 which means that in order to cover up we must calculate the difference between these two and go and edit if you say it uh, 15,200 minus 12,200 you will find that we are going to add amount of 2,700 we correct we calculate the different to rectify that mistake if you go and add this 12,700 from 12,500 it will go back to 15,200 which is correct number d simple store recorded 10 percent discount we must listen very carefully on this one simple store recorded a 10 percent discount on the eft payment of 9600 us as a business our business the, we recorded 10 percent of 9.6 which is 9 sigist we recorded 9 sigist if you say 10 percent of 9600 you will get 90 gist okay and they said this did not appear on the statement of nandu supplier it it did not appear even here and they said nandu supplier stated that discount should have been five percent guys discount is not ten percent it's five percent okay which means that in it, because this is ten percent is half of this okay so what do we do now remember in our suppliers book it is totally not appearing which means that 9600 multiplied by five percent is gonna give you amount of 48 because this is discount our supplier must reduce what our debt minus 48 but remember in our business we recorded how much 90 gist here is it correct no they said it's supposed to be five percent which means that from this negative nine suggested that we subtracted we must add back for eight so that we can left with what negative for eight that need to be subtracted here this is what we need to correct in order to get this plus for eight the reason why we're saying plus for eight because if you say the minus you are now making things worse which means that at the end of the day you you already subtracted 15 percent because already 10 percent has been subtracted now you have to add back to go back to what to five percent very simple okay number e now do supply did not deduct 10 percent trade discount on the trade invoice for goods purchase the correct net amount of 11,160 was recorded on in the creditors ledger account in the books of simple store who did mistake obvious is our supplier here okay they say that they did not deduct they were supposed to deduct 10 percent discount okay they give us amount of 11,160 multiplied by we are looking for 10 percent but do we have 100 percent here no guys they say that this is a net a net amount is already deducted 10 percent which means that it's 90 percent which is going to give us one two foot is the one that we are going to subtract here one two foot okay and then number f okay let me wrap here so that we can have a space 
or totals. Okay, number F. Number F, they said that an invoice of goods purchased for 6,300 was not on the statement of Nadu supplier. And the statement is on is the statement date is 28 February 2023. Okay, guys, if you have been watching so far, guys, please uh, let's keep supporting this channel. Uh, let's subscribe as much as possible. I want to make sure that, guys, by uh, June, let's reach a, at least 60,000 uh, so that by year end, we will be able to reach 100,000 gold. So it's only possible if you guys you keep subscribing and this channel is gonna grow and keep uploading more videos please let's do so uh, don't go without subscribing guys okay now uh, the last one this amount of 6300 they said it was not recorded on the statement obvious we have to go and do it and record because it's invoice invoice increase liability it is gonna be plus 6300 okay so if you add this side, remember when you come here, guys, it's either you said negative 40,000 minus 8,800 minus 3,400 plus 48 is going to give you 28,300. If you do the same here, it's going to give you 28,300. That's what we call a creator's reconciliation as balance. But guys, there is more than three formats that they can request you to prepare this. So go and watch the other videos on the playlist uh, so that you can also learn the other method, okay? I hope you learn something, you enjoy, and I'm going to see you on the next upload.